Well, hello, my lovely friends. Welcome along. Today is Friday, the 25th of September, 2020. Um, now, I get on about Siobhan's college course straight away. I know I told you about what courses she had to do for her to be a primary teacher, but because she failed her maths exam, she's got to retake it. Now, she's going in tomorrow for an hour. One hour. Mm. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Anyway. She's going in today for an hour. Eh? She's going in today for an hour. Oh, it is. It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Today. I don't even know what I'm on about. It's this weather. Oh, my God. Didn't it rain yesterday? Wow. I didn't think it was ever going to stop. It just came down and down and down. And guess what? When it rains, it makes me very tired. I love going to sleep with the sound of the rain hitting the window. Do you find that soothes your mind? It sends you to sleep? Do let me know. Well, apparently, according to Tracy, it's going to be time for a spring clean, even though we're in autumn. She's been bleaching everything. I couldn't believe it. Our kitchen has never looked so white. When we were away in Blackpool, she built one of the new flash floor mops. Oh my goodness, what a difference that made. Yeah, it has brought the floor. We've got a wooden laminate white floor in the kitchen. And boy, does it bring it up spotless. She said, I wish I'd known they worked so well because I'd have bought one a long time ago. Instead of getting on her hands and knees with a scrubbing pad, all she does now is wooby dooby doo round with the mop and it's all gone. Excellent. Well, talking of uh, spring cleans, do you sort your garden out for winter? Do you take all your lights in, all your solar lights, or do you leave them in the ground over winter? Now, we've done that a few years. We've left them there. That's right, I'm sitting on something hard, and it's hurting my bum. Um, we've left them out before, and they've all gone rusty, and they don't work. So now Tracy takes them in, takes the batteries out, puts the cellophane bag over the top, uh, seals it up, and puts it in the uh, lean-to at the bottom of the garden. We haven't got a shed, we've got a lean-to that was we actually built when we took our shed down. We reused the wood and made a nice lean-to which we put the, uh, the strimmer, the lawnmower and a few other essential bits in there. So all the garden lights get put away. They don't, you know, they don't cost a lot of money, but if you add them up over a course of a few years, they can do. Anyway. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Let's have a quick look on here. Oh, yes. Because of Black Lives Matter, <clears throat> it's affecting your food. Oh, it is. Uncle Ben's will not be called Uncle Ben's Rice anymore. It won't. It's going to be called Ben's Original Rice, and it's going to be in the shops from 2021. I think they're taking things... Oh, these chairs hang about. Oh, I think they're taking things a bit too far with this Black Lives Matter, don't you? Hey? Unbelievable. Statue's got to come down. What was I talking about in the National Trust the other day? That certain houses have been used to, to store slaves in previous years. I don't understand it. Times have moved on. What happened is in the past. Should never dwell on the past. Always look to the future. Because you never know. I've always said, you never know what's around the corner tomorrow. You could walk out your front door, go to catch the bus to work, and you could get hit by the bus and it could kill you. Now, what's the point of worrying about things that have happened in the past? Look to the future. That's one thing that keeps me going, is knowing I've booked something in the future to look forward to, like my holidays. I know I always keep on about my holidays. And I'll book one for 28th of June next year, back in Blackpool. I know it's eight months away. There's eight crosses. I've got to knock off the calendar every day. You know, I've got a countdown timer on my phone. And it tells me how many days I've got left. I'm sad, aren't I? Do you do things like that? Are you a, a nutter like me? I'm sure you are. Now, speaking of nutters, one of my biggest fans, yeah, James... Well, Lucy, I want to know if you and James have got a Facebook. If you have, look for me 
Gary Davison, D-A-V-I-S-O-N, and send me a friend request, will you? Please, then I can add you. Then you can see all my wonderful friends that I have, and some of the horrible friends that I do have. Hmm. Uh, speaking of this horrible virus that's going around, have you downloaded the NHS COVID-19 Track and Trace uh, app? It came out yesterday. I've downloaded it. <clears throat> it asked me for my postcode. Blah de blah de blah. And it, it's quite good. It tells you of all the risks that are in your area. Uh, you can check in using the scan barcode thing they have in restaurants or wherever so people know where you've been as a system checker. I think it's a great idea. Some people won't want to use it because your Bluetooth has always got to be on. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'd like to know if there was a case two doors down from me. I really would. Hmm. Tracy has not cut my hair, as you can see. Have you, Trace? No. No. I haven't had the shave, which I should have done. That's being lazy, that is. I have got to find something with my life to concentrate on. I've got to have a meaning, a purpose, apart from my radio station and doing this silly blog every day. Um, I'm thinking of doing it as a weekly blog, but I don't know. All the time I'm getting nice comments off people, especially you, Lucy, Peter, you know, and Emily. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant to get comments. Makes an old man like me feel wanted and feel a bit a bit happy with the way life is going. Because let's face it, at the moment, there's not a lot going on in the world that can make you smile. There's not. Everything that you took for granted is gone. Uh, the new world is the new world. It's the new way that we've got to learn to adapt and live to. And if the government says you've got to jump and do something, you can have to follow what the government said. Because tomorrow, it might change. They might, they might implement something else. And there's nothing we can do, you know. The onslaught of this horrid disease that's going round. It's quite frightening, really, to think of uh, what could happen if everybody just ignored the government and didn't do what they were told to do. Pandemic, it'd be epidemic then. Gordon Bennett, not very nice. Anyway, we're um, we're not doing a lot today. Apparently, I've got the doctors with Justine. I think I might go. I don't know. Uh, I've got some prescriptions from Boots, so I've got some dressings for my legs, which makes me feel a bit better. But anyway, whatever you're doing today, you have a good one. Bless you all, and I'll speak tomorrow. Ta-ra.